Hi everybody and welcome back. In this lecture we're looking at making an instance of a class. So think of a class of a set of instructions for how to make an instance. The class book is a set of instructions that tells Python how to make individual instances representing specific books. So obviously every book has something in common with every other book. They open, they close, they pay, the, the pages turn, each page has a page number. Just as every mug or every cup has something in common with every other cup, they might all have a handle, some may not have a handle. And that's what we use the functions within the class for. They define the attributes of each instance or each object. So let's make an instance now representing a specific book. So the book class we're using here is the same one we just wrote in the last example. First we tell Python to create a book whose name is Elon Musk and for which the price is $14.99 and the publisher is Virgin Books. When Python reads this line, it calls the init method in book with arguments Elon Musk, $14.99 and Virgin Books. The init method creates an instance representing this particular book and sets the name, price and publisher attributes using the values we provided. The init method has no explicit return statement, but Python automatically returns an instance representing this book. So let's look at how we do that. So we are creating an instance of a book now from our class. So let's just call it my book equals book. So we're calling our class Elon Musk. Fourteen ninety nine, comma, Virgin Books. Perfect. We store instances in the variable my book. We can usually assume that a capitalized name like book refers to a class and a lowercase name like my book refers to a single instance created for that class. So what happens if we try and print this? Nothing because we haven't yet given it any print statements. In the next lecture, we'll look at accessing attributes of the class. But for now, it's enough to know that we've created an instance my book. We've called the class my book and within the init parameters here, We've passed the arguments Elon Musk, 1499 and Virgin Box. We'll look at how these functions come into play in a little later, but for now, that's it. So I hope you can see that each lecture here involving the class is building upon each one to eventually running the class program and seeing what output we get. But because class is an object oriented program, can be a bit difficult to get your head around and a little bit complicated, we're taking it step by step. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next lecture.